Welcome to another episode of Mahindra Blueprints. And this time we're looking at one of Mahindra's biggest and most exciting projects. Having acquired famed automotive design house Pininfarina back in 2015, Mahindra created Automobili Pininfarina two years ago, a high-performance sports car and luxury electric vehicle manufacturer who are now developing the most powerful Italian sports car in history, the Batista. So this is a pure electric hypercar with zero emissions, which means the Batista perfectly complements Mahindra's vision for the future. And I mean, look at it. What an incredible showcase for Pininfarina's design DNA. Now, Jake, tell us more about this absolutely breathtaking piece of machinery. It's a hugely powerful piece of kit. There's a motor set inboard of each wheel to take it up to a total of 1,900 brake horsepower. Each of those motors has individual torque vectoring to control each wheel individually and make sure that the power is put down onto the road. The battery itself has a total energy of 120 kilowatt hours, giving the Batista a whopping 500 kilometers of range. Now, like other contemporary hypercars on the market as well, this has carbon fiber monocoque, carbon fiber bodywork, and to improve the braking and aerodynamic qualities, it's also got an air brake. Now, clearly the Batista is an incredible car, but what is it like to drive? Well, who better to ask than Mahindra's test and reserve driver, Nick Heidfeld. Nick, you've been heavily involved in the design and the development of this car. What are your impressions? Well, first of all, it looks fantastic. Now we have to make sure it drives fantastic as well. Um, so far, we've done a lot of simulations. I've not driven the real car yet. I've just uh, used it in the simulator and it has been mind blowing there because uh, it just accelerates like a rocket. I mean, in the beginning I was always introduced like Nick Heidfeld knows how it will be to drive this car. And I'm always like, no, because in F1 we accelerate from zero to 100 kph in like two and a half seconds. And this road legal uh, car will do it in less than two seconds. That's just crazy, crazy fast, but so much fun as well. Yeah, it will be fun, but I hope people will understand how, uh, how incredible this acceleration will be. But actually our target is not to only feel the acceleration and the power, but to make it fun to drive anywhere, mm -hmm. be it on a race circuit, but also in, in a city or just on a beautiful uh, valley or mountain tour. So Nick, can you just explain to me a bit more about the design process and how has the relationship worked with Mahindra and Automobili Pininfarina during the whole process? I think what we really have here is race to road with Mahindra and Automobili Pininfarina. And we just take the principles that we also use in motorsport and um, at Automobili Pininfarina we call it the three P's, which is about having the right people, uh, applying the right procedures and the right principles and this is what we're doing to develop the car into a fantastic machine. And the right performance as well. <laughs> well Nick, thank you very much. We cannot wait to see it on our roads. After the final round of tests, the design will be validated and those final checks will be passed to make sure that this is a road legal car. Quite incredible really. We cannot wait to see it on our roads. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Mahindra Blueprints. Join us for our next one where we'll be meeting a new addition to the Mahindra family.